setting yourself when you're on goal. Yes, I know. You're on goal. You're sprinting in towards the goalkeeper and your eyes light up. You're like, my God, it's goal time, baby. But you take that extra touch and the keeper just sweeps it up from your feet. You're thinking, God damn, if only I had to finish that chance, the tides of the game would have turned. Well, you're doing one key mistake here that you need to remedy so that you can start and finish these chances more often. You are not setting yourself when you are in behind on goal. And a very prime example of how you should be actually setting yourself up for a shot when you're in behind is in the E Premier League. This is the first goal that we saw from goal poacher, is but, it? oh wow, what a ball. He is in, Cantona is one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. He's gonna need to save it, but green time, cool as you like. As you see in that situation, essentially all he's done is he is taking his hand off sprint to enable him to dribble for a split second rather than sprinting and it allows him to keep the ball in tight to him so he can set himself for the shot and it also allows you to green time the shot a lot better. I have personally found that green timing can be harder if you are sprinting because sometimes the touches are larger than others and when you're sprinting it's a lot quicker so it's harder to time time the green time shot. When you set yourself, let you go of sprint, number one, you minimize the chance of the keeper collecting the ball. Number two, it gives you an extra second to decide what you want to do in that split second moment where you need to make a quick decision. And number three, as I said, it allows you to green time the shot a lot better. Pro players are always doing this. They're setting themselves before they shoot in situations like this. So you guys need to too. Don't get so excited when you're in on goal and set yourself. Take your time, be composed. That will sing at the end of it. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm coaching one-on-one -on, -one on Patreon. If you want to be a part of that, the link is down below. It's a very tight-knit community and I upload extra tutorials on there. So check that out. But as always, I hope you have a good day. I'm out. Sign on. Au revoir. Adios. Salam. Ciao. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And lastly, if you do want any pre-gaming fuel or supplements, then head over to atpscience.com, which is the first link in the description, and use the code AussieFIFA at checkout to get yourself a discount. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it helps me out a ton, guys, so thank you.